state land board has about 1,800 agriculture lessees that help us manage our 2.8 million acres of surface land. I'm very glad to be here today to recognize Mr. and Mrs. Cavender as our Legacy Lessee Award winners of the year. A typical agriculture lease with us is a 10-year period. When a family such as the Cavenders holds an agriculture lease, they have the option to terminate or to assign to another party. The remainder of the lease term can then be transferred to a new lessee. As part of our assignment process, there is a review and an approval that must occur by our district offices and we evaluate the incoming lessee to make sure that they practice good land management and would be good stewards of state trust land. We created this award to recognize those lessees who voluntarily assign their lease to a younger person who's not in their family. This allows for a unique opportunity for a new producer to hold a state lease. The point of this award is to encourage the next generation of agriculture leaders in the state of Colorado. Well, I have the pleasure of introducing this award. Mr. Cavender and his family were nominated by our previous district manager, Mr. Matt Pollard. Mr. Pollard nominated the Cavenders for this award because they assigned their state lease, which is composed of dryland crop, to a younger producer. This operator was farming on adjacent fee land, and Mr. Cavender thought it was a great opportunity to provide to the next generation of farmers. Mr. Cavender's legacy will continue on this property, and I'm looking forward to working with a great new lessee and an operator on state trust land. I feel honored in receiving this uh, Legacy Lease Award. Greatly honored. When I got the letter in the mail, I was read it, and then I reread it, and then I reread it. And I feel very honored to receive this award. Holding a state lease, uh, that's a highly sought after uh, item in our, in our area. Everybody seems to want to hold a state lease. And I like the idea of turning, uh, giving the younger generation a chance. If you're a young person trying to start farming, it's almost impossible today with the costs of things. My thought is, that, oh, let's just encourage a young man. Uh, maybe he will uh, do the same when he gets to my age. Living, living on a farm is a wonderful life. I've often said that if I lived 10 lives, I would want to be a farmer every one of them. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm retired now, but what I do in my spare time, I drive out and look at the farm and uh, look at the crops in different areas. I think what I am most proud of is watching the crops grow. We had some wonderful crops. We had some wonderful, wonderful crops. We had years in there that we, we had 50, 60 bushel averages. My operation started, my wife and I, in 1974, when my dad retired. I have been on the same farm since uh, I was about four years old. Uh, my folks moved to the Bennett area where we farmed. and I started working on that farm when I got out of high school. And when I retired and sold out, I had been there 57 years. Worked out of the same shop for 57 years. So we were there a long time at the Bennett Farm. The state land worked in very well with the land that we owned. The way we used our state lease, we raised winter wheat and uh, hard red winter wheat. And with the state land, we had for our area a very good production yield on the state land. And occasionally we would raise a spring crop, which would be either millet or dryland corn. And when I say dryland, I mean non-irrigated. Some years it was really dry. Uh, one last comment, I'd like to say what a pleasure it's been to work with Matt Pollard and the Eaton Office of the State Land Board. They were uh, 
Very nice to work with. They got along very well. People like Matt make uh, life enjoyable. <laughs>